In this video, we discuss how a tree is nothing more than a connected, undirected graph with no cycles. In the previous video, we introduced you to the graph data structure. And in the next video, we'll be covering trees and binary trees. While you can and probably should think of them as separate data structures, a tree is nothing more than a connected, undirected graph with no cycles. All the visualizations shown here are types of graphs. But which of these graphs could also be considered trees? Remember, a tree is a connected, undirected graph with no cycles. Connected means it's always possible to find a path from one node to any other. Our abstractions all meet this requirement. Undirected means all the connections or edges between two nodes are fully bidirectional, so this rules out our bottom left abstraction. And no cycles means there is no path in the tree that returns to the start node without traversing an edge twice, and this rules out two more of our abstractions. That means that three of our remaining graphs can also be considered trees. Note that it's a misconception that a tree must have a root node. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What is the relationship between the graph and the tree data structure?